Hey guys, Marley here, and today I wanted to talk about The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past, I don't know, three weeks, you know The Sims 4 is coming out with a new pack, The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. This pack is based around Japanese culture. You get to live or vacation in a mountain with winter activities. I'm so excited. Um, it's one of my most excited for packs probably since seasons. So I'm still crossing my fingers for the next pack to be a generation style pack, but I am super excited for this one. And I thought today I would go through with you guys and talk about the top five things that I am excited for for The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. So let's get into it. Number five. So, number five is going to seem dumb to a lot of people, but as a builder, one of the things that I'm most excited for in this pack is the clutter items. Oh my goodness. This pack, I'm looking at the trailer now, has so many good clutter items. The stackable plates, amazing. The bonsai tree, um, for those of you who don't watch me on Twitch, and if you don't, you should, link right here, 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 here. You will know I'm obsessed with bonsai trees. I did an entire Minecraft Feed the Beast series over on my Twitch channel dedicated to making a bountiful bonsai greenhouse. I think they're so cute and so fun and I know there's a lot of like rich cultural background there and they take hundreds of years to make and all of these things. But yes, I'm, I'm very much obsessed with uh, bonsai trees and stackable plates and all of the plants look amazing and there is like a, a difference between the like traditional items and the modern items. Oh, we're about to get a cat spotting, I think. Oh, there's a tail. Um, and so that makes me really excited. I think this is gonna be a really good pack for builders, which brings me on to number four, another build by item I know, and this one is the stove. Yes, this stove gets a slot all by itself because I don't know if you guys noticed, but the stove doesn't have an annoying back part. Do you know what that means? That means we can put the stove in island counters, something that I've been wanting literally since day one of the game, and I could not be happier. That one kind of speaks for itself. It's a cool stove. I'm ready. I'm ready to have it. I want to make island counters. Catch me putting the stove in all of my island counters and all of my builds from now on. Number three. So, Number three is a gameplay feature. I know, I bet you're excited. Builder talks about gameplay. Um, but number three is sledding. Now, I know that we got, we're getting a lot of new winter activities. So we're getting skiing, we're getting snowboarding, we're getting mountain climbing, we're getting um, the pools you can sit in. All of those things, very cool. But sledding is the most exciting to me because sledding is available to not only just children, which in itself is a feat because The Sims 4 always ignores children, but is it also available for toddlers? Guys, that literally blew my mind. I can't even think of the last time that we've gotten something real for toddlers. Athena, stop. <laughs> Athena. Thank you. Um, I can't remember the last time we've gotten something real for toddlers to do. Maybe seasons, maybe toddler stuff, I don't know. I think you can like crash the sleds and like you can get better at them. Um, from what the trailer looked like, it looked like sledding, skiing, and snowboarding are all separate skills, not tied to the fitness skill, which is oh, amazing because it doesn't make sense for your son to be like an amazing basketball player and that makes them a good rock climber. Don't like it. Um, but sledding, it's here, it's real, and it's a skill. So I'm excited to play with it. Which brings us on to something a lot less consequential, but still my number two, and that is the train stations. Guys, I don't know if you have watched my problems with Journey to Batu or how they could, the Sims 4 team could have fixed Journey to Batu video. I'll link it here. But in that video, I talk about how I think one of the things that could improve the Sims game as a whole, not just for Journey to Batu, but also for Journey to Batu, because that pack kind of sucked, was that we needed a way to travel between worlds. I like that you can go to the map and do it instantly. I do. But I talked about how we needed a way to travel between worlds that took time and took money, because that's realistic. And I said in that video that I thought airports would be a good idea. Like you would take your Sims to the airport, you'd buy a ticket, and then you would like, be like, you will arrive in eight hours. And then you would get there. It would take like $200 and it would be eight hours later in game. Um, I talked about, I detailed it a lot. And we're not getting that, but we are getting a train station, which, wow, well, 
that's really exciting to me. I think that it's only going to be limited to this world, which is a shame, but who knows? Maybe if we're very vocal about how much we love it, then the Sims team will look in their hearts and realize that they need to link it to all the worlds. They need a train station in every world. It makes sense. It's a good addition to the game, and I'm super excited about it. I know that that's something super, super tiny, and it might not even function how I think it's going to. If not, you guys can like come back to this video and comment like, you're a dumbass, Blah. and I'll be like, word, sounds good. Um, but I'm really excited for it. I think that that's such like a good little thing, and it really shows that not every major improvement has to be a huge feature added. It can be something so small and minuscule that makes a world of difference. So that's my number two. And number one, lifestyles and sentiments. I know, I'm just preaching to the choir here. I think we're all excited to see some more depth, depth in our Sims, but I'm very excited for lifestyles and sentiments. We got like a tiny peek of it in the newest trailer where you just saw like it popped up on the screen. It looked to be like a couple pages of different lifestyles. We didn't get to see anything for sentiments, which was kind of upsetting, but it looked to be a couple pages of different lifestyles. I'm wondering if we will be able to edit these at all or if they are fixed with just the ones that it comes with, which is what I'm assuming at this point. But imagine if we were able to edit it like holidays and like create our own lifestyles. Not only one does this add on to the culture that we're already getting, which is a more Japanese inspired culture, but this would mean that we could add our own cultures into the game, you know, everything from Hispanic culture to Western Asian culture to more European cultures, we could edit our Sims to have actual distinct lifestyles. And that to me is super cool. I also like that you don't choose it. It kind of comes upon you. As someone who moved from Texas to New York City, I did not choose the lifestyle that I now live. I walk like three miles a day. I take my shoes off at the door. Um, <laughs> You know, all of those little things that I did not do there that I do here. And it shows that where you live matters to how you live your life. And I love that. That's amazing. That's so good for the Sims scene to add. Sentiments are going to make relationships deeper. I want to have real enemies. I want to have like slow burn love situations. I'm so ready. Everything about it is just perfect for me and my gameplay style. I just want to do a little summarization of everything here. Um, and my overall thoughts about The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. Basically, I think Plumbella said it best. I'm cautiously optimistic um, from what we've seen so far. This looks like it could be a really good pack. But then again, you never know with The Sims team because The Sims team made a really awful trailer for Eco Lifestyle. Eco Living? Eco Lifestyle? I don't remember. For the Eco Pack. And I absolutely loved it. And the trailers did not sell it to me. These trailers are selling it to me, but I will not be able to give a good indication of whether or not this game pack or this expansion pack is worth it until I play it. That being said, I am doing a giveaway over on my Twitter. Um, all you have to do, I'm going to be giving away two copies of the Eco Lifestyle Pack. All you have to do is go to my Twitter, follow me there, retweet the tweet, and then make sure that you're either subscribed here on YouTube or following me over on Twitch, preferably both. Athena's telling you to do both, but you don't have to. To enter the giveaway, you only have to do one, either subscribe or follow me there. Post a screenshot in under my pen tweet to show that you're following me, and that's it. You're entered. That's all you have to do. Um, I'm just trying to help some people out who may not be able to afford the pack, and if it sucks, oh well, we'll get some free packs. Who cares? You still got cool build buy objects. Um, but yeah. So, go enter the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away two copies of the pack. The first copy will be just selected randomly from the tweets. The second copy will be, I will announce the winner in a video. And if you come to that video and you watch the live premiere, we will do like some kind of game or number guess or something at the end to pick the second winner. Or I'll just pick someone who is in the chat talking because I really appreciate it. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much. Go follow me on Twitch. Go follow me on Twitter. I I shit post all the time on Twitter. You're gonna have a great time following me on Twitter. Um, and subscribe to me here on YouTube. Like this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, that's okay. Leave me some constructive criticism in the comments. What can I do to make my videos better? I'm willing to do it. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you finished this video to completion, leave me a comment about elephants. Leave me a comment about elephants. I'll know you made it to the very end. Um, you, you go into my mental list of super special people. And that's all I have to say for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in a couple days with another video. Goodbye. Mwah.